Italian teenager Carlo had taken this as being open for public veneration in the town of Assisi. As ahead of his beatification, which is due to a further affliction, according to a precious in the local diocese, the boy of 15 when he died of leukemia in 2006, was found to be fully present but not interrupted. The hospital was instructed and placed in a glass casket for veneration teenager. Carlo was an Italian boy, a teenager. He was born on 1991 in London for his Italian parents. After his birth, they moved to Milan in Italy. This is where Carlo grew and went to school. He was an enthusiastic, fun-loving and curious young boy like every other boy. But he was very genius and also he found deep devotion to Eucharist. This is why with special permission he got his first Holy Communion at an age of seven. From then he never missed his daily Mass and Rosary prayer. He dedicated more time to be spent in front of the Eucharistic adoration. He was a quick learner and so he became an expert in computer programming and website development. He loved to travel and visited many pilgrimage places. He catalogued the Eucharistic miracles and collected the photos. With those, he made a website about Eucharistic miracles of the world. Soon after, he was diagnosed with a breast cancer and underwent painful treatments. He offered his sufferings for the church and the Pope. The medical staffs were moved by his determination and joy even at death. Indeed, he was happy because as he said, the more Eucharist we receive, the more we will become like Jesus, so that on this earth we will have a foretaste of heaven. He died on 12th October 2006. He was buried in Assisi according to his will to be near his favorite saint, St. Francis. Later his body was transferred to Sanctuary of Spoliation, a church which is the site where St. Francis gave up his luxury clothes and life to embrace poverty and new life in Christ. Life of Carlo was studied well and the process of canonization has begun. His body was examined few times and it found to be not fully corrupted and found to be mostly intact. Many comes to witness the testimony of this simple young boy. All get amazed with his extraordinary story. Now we are going to get a saint who wears sports shoes, jeans, sweatshirts, but with a rosary in his hand and focusing only on Holy Eucharist. As today, we struggle to use internet for good purposes. Here is a teenager who used it for the glory of God. Let's ask his intercession so that we can live and preach gospel using our simple lives. Moreover, the grace to take Eucharist more seriously.